Thus regarding the imposition of capital punishment, in the state of New York are still on the books. It is no longer enforced as it has been declared unconstitutional in the state, and this ruling has not been overturned. The last execution took place in 1963. The state was the first to adopt the electric chair as a method of execution, which replaced hanging. Following the U.S. Supreme Court's ruling declaring existing capital punishment statutes unconstitutional, in Furman v. Georgia and its subsequent ruling on specific conditions states had to meet for revised statutes in Gregg v. Georgia, New York was without a death penalty until 1995, when Governor George Pataki signed a new statute into law, which provided for execution by lethal injection. On June 24, 2004, the state's highest court ruled in People v. La Valley that the state's death penalty statute violated the state constitution. And New York has had no valid statute relating to capital punishment since then. Subsequent legislative attempts at fixing or replacing the statute have failed, and in July 2008 Governor David Patterson issued an executive order disestablishing New York's death row. Legislative efforts to amend the statute have failed, and death sentences are no longer sought at the state level. Though certain crimes that fall under the jurisdiction of the federal government are subject to the federal death penalty. During various periods from the 1600s onward, New York law prescribed the death penalty for crimes such as sodomy, adultery, counterfeiting, perjury, and attempted rape or murder by slaves. In 1796, New York abolished the death penalty for crimes other than murder and treason, but arson was made a capital crime in 1808. In 1886, newly elected New York State Governor David B. Hill set up a three-member New York Commission to determine a new, more humane system of execution to replace hanging. The commission included the human rights advocate and reformer Elbridge Thomas Jerry, New York lawyer and politician Matthew Hale, and Buffalo dentist and experimenter Alfred P. Southwick. Southwick had been developing an idea since the early 1880s of using electric current as a means of capital punishment after hearing about how relatively painlessly and quickly a drunken man died due to grabbing the energized parts on a generator. Southwick had published this proposal first in 1882 and, being a dentist accustomed to performing procedures on subjects in chairs, used the form of a chair in his designs, which became known as the electric chair. The commission reviewed ancient and modern forms of execution including lethal injection, but finally settled on electrocution in 1888. A bill making electrocution New York State's form of execution passed the legislature and was signed by Governor Hill on June 4, 1888, set to go into effect on January 1, 1889. The first individual to be executed in the electric chair was William Kemmler, on August 6, 1890. Current was passed through Kemmler for 17 seconds and he was declared dead, but witnesses noticed he was still breathing, and the current was turned back on. From start to finish, the execution took 8 minutes. During the execution, blood vessels under the skin ruptured and bled, and some witness reported that Kemmler's body caught on fire. From 1890 to 1963, 695 people were executed in New York. The first was William Kemmler on August 6, 1890, and the last was Eddie Lee Mace on August 15, 1963. 
Kemmler was the first person in the world known to be executed in an electric chair. Except for four individuals, all of the people executed during this period were convicted of murder. The four exceptions were Joseph Sekoda and Demetrius Gula, who were convicted of kidnapping and executed January 11, 1940, and Julius and Ethel Rosenberg, who were convicted of espionage and executed June 19, 1953. Capital punishment was reinstated in New York in 1995 when Governor George Pataki signed a new statute into law, which provided for execution by lethal injection. On June 24, 2004, the New York Court of Appeals, the state's highest court, held 4-3 to three in People v. Lavalle that the state's death penalty statute violated the New York Constitution. Governor Pataki criticized the ruling and promised a quick legislative fix. Between December 2004 and February 2005, public hearings were held in Manhattan and Albany. New York Law School professor and death penalty advocate Robert Blecker advocated strongly in favor of reinstatement, while Manhattan District Attorney Robert M. Morgenthau strongly opposed reinstatement. In 2007, the New York Court of Appeals heard arguments in People v. John Taylor, and, in rejecting the arguments of the Queens District Attorney, commuted the sentence to life without parole leaving New York with an empty death row. For the duration of Morgan Thau's tenure as Manhattan District Attorney, he never once sought the death penalty in the period it was legal in New York. In the 2009 Democratic primary in which Morgan Thau did not run, Snyder ran for District Attorney again, against Cyrus Vance Jr. and Richard Aborn. Both opponents strongly opposed the death penalty, and criticized Snyder for her previous comments. Snyder accused Vance at a born of taking her comments out of context, and stated that her position on the death penalty had changed due to learning about wrongful convictions. Aborn said he would oppose attempts to restore it, and would lead the effort against any attempt to revive it. In 2005, supporters of the death penalty in the New York legislature passed a bill restoring New York's death penalty in the Republican-controlled state Senate. But the legislation was voted down by a legislative committee in the Democratic-controlled New York Assembly, and was not enacted into law. In 2008, the state Senate again passed legislation that would have established the death penalty for the murder of law enforcement officers, but the Assembly did not act on the legislation. In July 2008, Governor David Patterson issued an executive order requiring the disestablishment of death row and the closure of the state's execution chamber at Greenhaven Correctional Facility. Even though the current death penalty statute was ruled unconstitutional and left null and unenforceable by the New York State Court of Appeals in 2004, the death penalty statute was never fully repealed from New York State law. On August 2, 2018, Governor Andrew Cuomo announced that he was advancing legislation to remove the death penalty statute from New York state law. The last execution in New York prior to the death penalty being declared unconstitutional in New York, was the execution of Eddie Lee Mays. He was born in 1929 in New York. He was convicted of first-degree murder and robbery in 1962. Mays was 34 years old at the time of execution. Mays, a black man from North Carolina, was sentenced to death for killing a customer during a robbery at a bar in New York. Mays and two accomplices held up the friendly tavern 
at 1403 Fifth Avenue in East Harlem on March 23, 1961. Mays ordered the owner and the patrons to put their cash on the bar. However 31-year-old Maria Marini, who witnesses said was too slow to comply, enraged Mays. After opening her purse and finding it empty, Mays put a 38 caliber revolver to her forehead and pulled the trigger, killing her instantly. The gang stole a total of $275 from the bartender and several customers during the robbery. At May's subsequent trial, the court heard that he had been part of a gang which had committed 52 robberies in six weeks. Mays told reporters he would rather fry than spend his life in prison. Mays entered the execution room at 10.01 p.m. on August 15, 1963, accompanied by a Protestant chaplain, and was strapped into the electric chair. He made no final statement to the prison warden or other witnesses before being electrocuted, and was pronounced dead three minutes later, at 10.04 p.m. Thank you for watching Death Row.